Chen Ye. I'm Kon Lu Min. Yeah, today we would like to present our decision making and creative thinking project. And today our title is talking about the Causal Loop Diagram CLD. First, I will explain what is CLD. And I will explain an example for the CLD. Hi, I'm Wong Chen Ye. I would like to explain about what is CLD. CLD is an insightful tool for bringing out the transformation process of the system in terms of the structural and causal relationships between system components. CLD often the first step for the process approach to modeling. Besides, CLD is formerly used in systems dynamics to map out grammatically the dynamic behavior of complex systems which means that CLD uses some simple diagrams to make the processes within a system become easier and clearer to understand. Now, I would like to explain about the idea of CLDs. Basically, CLDs is based on the idea of cause and effect. CLD depict cause and effect relationships between various aspects, entities, or variables. In item A affects item B, it, this causes one or more attributes of the item B to change, such as its numeric value or its status. This is shown by connecting the two with a directed error. And how are we going to use CLD? So I would like to explain by an example. If A change in B may in turn become the cause of a change of C, and so on, resulting in a chain of cause and effects. A positive sign, or the letter S standing for same direction, attached to the arrow head means that an increase in the value of an item A causes an increase in the value of item B. And the next, a negative sign or the letter O for opposite indicates that an increase in A results in a decrease in B. Now I would like to use an example by using CLD. As petrol price goes up, it causes a high inflation rate. Then it will cause a high unemployment rate. When the citizens lose their job or income decrease, their spending power will become lower and cause a poverty. When poverty happens, the standard of living will also drop, and the poverty problem will also increase the crime rate. So it will damage the public security. The components or happening in the system are interrelated. In the end, the rising of petrol price will cause the standard of living drops and the public security drop as well in terms of cost and in fact a process. Both drops in living standard and public security will cause the petrol price raise up and continue the loop again. Thank you. It's my example. That's all our explanation about Costure Loop Diagrams. I hope that you understand more about CLD. Thanks for watching us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.